Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Mech Combat tutorial series. Within today's video we're going to be showing you how you can set up the socket and spawn in the weapon for our character. So having said that we're going to be taking this hammer mesh that we've got placing it in the player's hand so they're going to be able to swing it about when they are doing their attack stuff. If you want to see that attack stuff, if you jump into the game, you can see when we left click the player is swinging their arm. So once we've got a hammer in there it's going to look really awesome and we can start attacking some enemies. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into it. So the first thing you're going to need to do for this hammer is set up a socket. A socket is essentially going to tell the engine where to place the hammer. And then from there we can attach it to that so it always stays in that location. So when the arm moves, the hammer is also going to move. To set up the socket, what you need to do is open up your robo underscore character mesh and then head over to your skeleton tab at the top here. Now we are going to be placing that hammer in the right arm of this mech. So what we're going to need to do is go ahead and select the wrist or the hand or wherever you want to attach it down here. Now you can see at the moment I've already got a bone here called weapon. We're not going to be using this. Instead what I'm going to be doing is just finding the index finger maybe and placing it in there. Um, so that way you can see the whole process of us creating a weapon. So find index one underscore R, add a socket, and then with this socket that we've just created here, what we're going to do is right click it and rename it. We are going to give this the name hammer socket. And then with this hammer socket, what we now need to do is add a preview asset so we can see what the hammer is going to look like in that socket and adjust the socket location so that when we spawn the hammer in game into that socket location it is going to be in the right place. So what you want to do is go to right click on hammer socket, add preview asset and then in here what we're going to be doing is simply looking for our hammer. So you can see we've got it here, robohammer underscore mesh, and that is going to spawn it into the socket. Now with this socket still selected, what we need to do is rotate this hammer so that it spawns in a reasonable place. So if I go ahead and rotate it, I'd say about 60 degrees that way, and then also bring it up 60 degrees that way, you can see now it is roughly where I want it to be. It's not quite in the hand mind, so I'm going to be using the translate tool to just move it to the left a little bit and up a little bit just like this. And now what I should have is the object in the player's hand. And if I was to go ahead and preview an animation, such as our running animation, you can see it is moving with the hand. So we've now essentially got the physical side of the hammer set up. So that's a really easy and great way to sort of test out your locations before you start spawning things in with blueprints. Add the socket and then add the preview mesh and just start to move it around whether that's translation or rotation. So moving on from here, what we now need to do is move into blueprint code to actually get it spawned into the game and it's really really easy. So what we're going to do is navigate to our third person BP folder, go to blueprints and then open up our third person character. And then with this third person character we are going to find our begin play. If you haven't got one already you're just going to have to create one. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to type in begin play and then create yourself a node which says event begin play. What we're going to be doing from here is spawning an actor from class and then for the class we need to select our weapon. However, at the moment our 
Hammer is just a, sta uh, just a skeletal mesh, it's not a blueprint class. So what we need to do is go back in here. We are going to create another folder inside of Mech Combat and we're going to call this Blueprints. Open it up and then we're going to create a new blueprint class of the type actor and give it the name Hammer. Open this up, add the component which is the skeletal mesh and we're going to give this the name hammer underscore mesh and then in the details panel in the right hand side you are going to be setting this to robo hammer underscore mesh. Hit compile and now we can start using that hammer as part of our blueprint within our character. So go back into your character blueprint for the class simply search for hammer. Hammer is what you've just selected. And then what we're also going to be doing is setting up our spawn transform. Our transform is essentially you telling the engine where you want it to spawn. And in our case, we have created a socket in the hand. So that is where we want it to spawn. So the way we're gonna get that socket transform is we are going to get a reference to the skeletal mesh, which is the robot character so select that in the top left hand corner in the components panel, get a reference to it, and then we are going to get the socket transform. And within this, it is going to allow us to specify which socket we want to get that information from. So if you hook this up to your spawn transform, and then for your socket name, what we're gonna be doing is just simply copying that from our mesh for our main character. So open up your main character, go to your skeleton view, and as you can see, we gave it the name Hammer Socket. Now, when you're mentioning a socket within Blueprints, it is case sensitive, so make sure you do spell it 100% correct, otherwise it's simply not going to work. So Hammer Socket, no spaces. So go back to our Blueprint, and in socket name, we are simply going to set this to hammer socket. And then if we compile this, when we first load up the game, you are going to notice it's going to spawn that hammer. But the hammer does not stay with the mech. It's actually stayed in its spawn location. So what we need to do now is actually attach it to the mesh. So the way we're going to do this is first things first, we are going to promote the return value from the spawn actor to a variable so we can access it a little bit easier later on. And we're just going to give this the name hammer ref, just like I've spelt it there. And then what we're going to do from the return value for that, we are going to attach this to a component. So if we go ahead and hook this up, our target should go directly into our hammer blueprint. Our parent needs to be hooked up to our mesh, which is the robo dude. So get another reference to that and hook it up to the parent. For the socket name, once again, we are just attaching it to the hammer socket. So hammer socket just like that. And because we want this to snap to target, we need to set this as the location, rotation, and scaling rule. So from the drop down, select snap to target, and all this is going to do is essentially just snap that hammer to the target as soon as you attach it. So if we go ahead and hit compile now, what we should have, if we go ahead and press play, is you can see when I move around now, our hammer is in the hands of the mech. And every time that I swing my hammer using my left click to swing it, it is going to stay with it. So this is just the basis of our melee combat system. We have got a weapon in there. And as you guys can see, it's really, really easy to set this up. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. 
Once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.